William Bonek has just done an Instagram live story and he has fired his coach, Neil Hill. What do you say behind my back? Aside from the part that you use my name, you know, to get more at least. You know, like, yeah, I prep William. Yeah, with William, I do this and that. Yeah, with Flex, I do this and that. Give us a break, man. Be real. Yeah? Be real. You have eaten enough of me. Always in this shithole. I'm living here with three kids. Almost. One is coming, one is on his way. But I didn't complain. Because I'm a lawyer person. You understand? I'm a lawyer person. Even though I know you don't do shit for me. I'm like, if I eat, you eat. If I... Why? Because we started the same time, the same day. We started together. So when we started together, in my mind, it's like we will grow together. You understand? But I was fooling myself. I was fooling myself, man. Putting myself down, my family down, in order to let other people eat from me. Keeping me as a fool. And telling me, I love you, man. You know I love you. you everything to me. Blah, 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 blah. Diving for a bodybuilding show is a grueling process. Give us your secrets to being able to make it through to the show. Well, uh, Lamont was talking to me about, you know, the controversy between William Bonac and his trainer and whether or not having a coach is important and what it takes to get ready for the show. Of course, each individual has to be motivated and more, have the desire to really get through to the show, but having a plan that works and giving yourself enough time, depending on your body composition and your muscle development. So the average bodybuilder, competitor, physique, bikini, who's been competing for many, many years or several years, may not have to prepare but three months, but they actually always prepare. Where a beginner, I do recommend a beginner getting with somebody minimum of six months out because it takes more than you think to actually get to the point where you can actually come to where you're actually looking what I call just fit, then going into that next level of super conditioning. And first competition, you may not be as conditioned as you would be in the future because, again, it's years and years of training, years and years of eating properly getting the body fat lower, and most people can't attain that in the first competition, it's possible. Having said all those things, is it necessary to have a coach for success? Well, you know, again, having a coach, you know, I've been competing for 40 years. And when I first started competing, there wasn't that many people knew much about the sport. I actually had some friends that, that, that had competed, gave me some information. But having someone who's knowledgeable get you on the right track, get you to where you are, uh, knowing exactly what type of diet you should be doing, what type of training, and teaching you how to present yourself on stage. I do think it's very important, but you need to pick the right person. There's a lot of trainers out there, some a lot more knowledgeable than others, but anyone that has experience can call themselves a trainer to someone who has no knowledge. But the more knowledge the person that you're using has, the better off you're going to be, the faster progress you're going to make. You're not going to make the mistakes of people that do go get a novice trainer or the novice herself, and they're trying to go on YouTube and, and figure out things on their own. So definitely having someone guide you as a coach, whether it's just for the diet or just for the, the presentation, are for all aspects. And some people actually have more than one trainer. I have people that I work with on diet and posing. Then I have clients that other uh, coaches send to me for the presentation and they have, they're doing their diet and training. So it's, I do think it's very important to have success with the, the density of competition these days. Please like on this video if you like the information I gave today. And subscribe to my channel so you get more information like this. And you can contact me by calling 336-987-4007 or email me qrelite at gmail.com.